As ma suffers more than 300 millions of people worldwide, it means it's huge problem for world. But we have news. News is monoclonal antibody therapy, tezepelumab. We will discuss it, its mechanism, side effects, and usage. And it was approved by FDA. That's why it's so important. But before it, let's discuss asthma itself. Most common symptoms of asthma is shortness of breath, chest tightness, wheezing, and cough. Shortness of breath is any kind of discomfort during breathing. So if person says that he has discomfort during breathing, it means shortness of breath. Second symptom is chest tightness. Chest tightness means pressure sensitivity. It, it means pressure around chest. Uh, and people describe as a pressure as something heavy is pressing on their chest. Um, some people also notice pain during breathing uh, and this chest tightness and pressure on the chest prevents deep breathing and they cannot breathe freely. Wheezing is another symptom. Wheezing is whistling sound during breathing. Uh, because of narrowing of bronchi, of course, and coughing, of course, because of uh, inflammation, narrowed bronchi, uh, cough is common symptom also. Now let's talk about mechanism. It's very important. Uh, it's very important because we should understand mechanism of new drug and mechanism of all old drugs, which are conventional treatment of asthma. First, we have trigger. Trigger can be dander or pollen or different protein. It, it can be trigger and person inhales this trigger and this trigger binds to epithelial cells, epithelial cells on the lining wall of bronchi. These epithelial cells release Timic stromal lipoprotein, which is called TSLP, and this component is most important here. This TSLP binds to dendritic cells and causes its activation. Activation of dendritic cells itself, they bind to T cells in lymph nodes. So these dendritic cells travel to lymph nodes and they causing activation of T lymphocytes. And these T lymphocytes are differentiating to Th cells, Th2 phenotype. So what was mechanism? Mechanism is first we have antigen or allergen it binds to epithelial cells. Epithelial cell causes release of TSLP. TSLP binds to dendritic cells. Dendritic cells binds to T lymphocytes in the lymph nodes. T lymphocytes differentiates. It it uh, it, it uh, starts maturation process and differentiation to Th2 phenotype. And this type of uh, T lymphocytes releases interleukin 4, interleukin 5, interleukin 10, interleukin 13 and they have uh, allergic and inflammatory reactions uh, they causing swelling, they causing inflammation, they causing mucus production and we have symptoms. Uh, we, we get eventually we get thickened wall of bronchi, we get mucus production, we get inflammation, and eventually we get neurot, um, neurot bronchi and difficulty breathing, of course. This is most important pathway. This pathway occurs almost all cases of asthma. But we have second pathway also. Second pathway is 
when uh, allergen directly binds to IgE and IgE causes activation of mast cells and mast cells uh, releases histamine. Histamine causes inflammation and bronchoconstriction. This is allergic type, allergic type of asthma. And 60% of asthma is allergic type. But of course, they also have this pathway. Uh, if asthma is allergic type, it does not mean that it uses only this pathway. It means that uh, primarily it uses uh, this uh, IgE pathway, but it also uses uh, dendritic uh, cell pathway and TSLP pathway. Um, so we have two pathway and we get symptoms. And what this new drug is doing? TSLP inhibitor or tezepelumab inhibits TSLP here. Here. He inhibits this pathway totally. So it's huge. It's huge improvement because you see how huge chain we cut this dendritic cells, telimposites, a maturation of this telimposite and uh, differentiation uh, and interleukins and eventually um, asthma symptoms. So we cut this way here. It's very specific type of treatment and that's why it's very important. And uh, but what is main limitation here this uh, this treatment tslp inhibitor does not cause uh, does not have effect on ige reaction or um, uh, allergy reactions so it improves symptoms on this pathway tslp pathway but it does not improve symptoms if it's only allergic reaction. Um, but we should say that most cases or severe asthma events are not caused only IgE pathway. It means that in most severe cases, most severe cases, tezepelumab is effective. And tezepelumab uh, causes improvement frequency and severity of asthma attacks it affects both severity and frequency also its injections um, person gets uh, injects injections uh, every four weeks it's also another limitation that it's injection but uh, good thing is that you should inject it rarely not frequently and not daily uh, now let's say what is standard and conventional treatment of asthma and where is place of tezepelumab and tslp inhibitors first line treatment of asthma is short term beta agonists they relax muscles of bronchi and they causes muscle uh, bronchodilation uh, it is called saba also and a short term beta agonists are not used for long term it's only only effective and only recommended uh, during severe asthma attacks and during acute usage only not long term Another first line treatment is inhaled corticosteroids. Inhaled corticosteroids reduce inflammation. Uh, and if this treatment is not enough and symptoms last, then second line treatment is used. And second line treatment used um, long acting beta agonist and long acting beta agonist of course it adds this treatment not only long 
acting beta agonist and uh, another is leukotriene modifiers uh, like montelukast it also reduces inflammation and now where is role of tslp role of tslp is adds on therapy so it is used for severe cases uncontrolled asthma cases and um, why because it's new because it's new and it needs long-term studies uh, about long-term usage of safety also uh, it's it's not cheap it's expensive that's why it's another limitation but uh, the idea that we have specific treatment and not general treatment for example this corticosteroid treatment is general it uh, it has general action but this monoclonal therapy is specified therapy that's why it's huge step in asthma treatment that's why it's important thank you for watching thank you for your interest if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now